Oh, well, welcome back. You may not be thinking about nativity scenes or menorahs during the heat of summer, but the holidays will be here before you know it. Oh, don't get me all pressured <laughs> on that now. Local financial professional Brad Allen from WealthWisconsin.com here joins us with four tips to help you start planning for Christmas in July. We just saw that the Chris Kindle markets are going to be here. Mm -hmm. Some people are thinking ahead to December. Right. I need to start planning now. It's a little early. And you brought gifts. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. I brought some props today. But uh, they say the average person spends about $1,000 for holiday shopping. Sure. Okay. So unfortunately, not everybody saves up for holiday shopping. They no. put it on high interest credit cards and all that kind of stuff. And then it starts this circle of sure. you're trying to pay this debt off, and then you get it paid off, and a new holiday comes, right? <laughs> so uh, today we're talking about how, do, how can we start saving money throughout the year to make sure we have enough when the holiday season comes around. Okay, so the, so first, thing, the first thing, I always have a budget. You guys are used to hearing about the budget. Budget, but Here we go. this is a holiday budget that you can print off. It's on wealthwisconsin.com. And it just goes through who do you want to buy gifts for, how mm -hmm. much do you want to spend on each person. It's just a tracking list, right? So it shows you, uh, just keeps you organized, make sure you're, you're, you're not missing anybody and, and staying There's on There's enough budget. lines here for everybody. There is. Yeah. But I might yeah. see that I've got some cash in the Christmas fund and I have an emergency in October. Should right. I dip into the Christmas fund? You should have so two funds. Okay. <laughs> the next one I have is, is the paper bag. So, you know, you might uh, realize that y you added up the budget. You don't, you, you see there's too much on there. You don't have enough in your savings account. You don't want to put on a credit card. So now it's time to start packing lunches for work. Now it's time to stop going to the coffee shop. Now, okay. You know, just start saving up along the way um, and making sure you have money there. Right. And then the next one, the reason why I have glitter all over me well, today yeah. is because oh, of the I thought glitter. that was no, just because you were with a fairy. <laughs> but do it not says, open. do not open. So yeah. you're talking about the different accounts. They yeah. have different accounts for different things. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. We talk about the emergency fund having three to six months worth of expenses on hand just in case an emergency comes. Same principle, but for holiday shopping. All right. So have a separate account for holidays, maybe a car payment, or you know the different things that you need. It, it, it just keeps it organized for you, so you can add to it. And the, the one year. final the crayons. Uh, yep, I have uh, off-season shopping. Right, ah, so right. Uh, sure. now is a great time to buy sweaters, boots, coats, yep. uh, school supplies, all that kind of stuff. So you're thinking uh, uh, ahead throughout the year. You're gonna yep. have to buy the stuff anyways. Do it while it's sixty percent off. Get Save money. You're gonna have more money for the holidays. The all glow right. really does you well. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>